Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Yan, di lang. Makapansin nyo, meron akong, meron akong props. Ito kasi, eh, this is a request from one of my coaches or one of the fellow coaches na i-feature ko daw to yung isa sa mga aking dogs. So, medyo nanginginig siya at hindi siya sanay, nakaharap sa camera. So, yan. So, hello, everyone. I am Coach Juriel. I am a certified CACC professional life coach. I am a certified martial arts instructor. I am a marine engineer by profession. And I help people navigate through life and love through coaching classes and services that includes responsible online dating. I'm a scholar of Master Coach A for public speaking. And this episode is titled Dog Day Afternoon a Mexican Hairless. Yan. So, medyo ano siya, kinakabahan siya the first time niya haharap sa camera and as you know, dogs are man's best friend so, yan, sige pupuhin ko muna siya so, this is a request from one of the coaches, mula kay Coach Nilo and even the title was suggested by him, so sabi ko, I will honor the request and to see ano yung mga aso na meron kami dito so, this is my Mexican hairless this is, pangalan niya si Tutay Yan, so medyo ano siya, medyo shy siya. Yan. Amoy tao. <laughs> kung kayo ay may aso, kung may tao na amoy aso, ito naman yung aso na amoy tao. So, yan. A little bit of breed trivia. Kasi we have 16 dogs in our home. Iba-ibang breed yan. So, from purebred to mixed breeds, meron, meron. So, this is one of my pure breeds. Ito. Ayan siya. Si, si Titay this this dog was bought by my girlfriend ah, ano, in 2020 yan so, iba yung kulay niya pa nun. so, a little bit of a brief trivia the behavior of Mexican hairless or Mexican hairless dogs or solo Queensley mahirap banggitin yung pangalan nila so the, their behavior is more primitive. So, ibig sabihin, they're highly intelligent, uh, alert, and they're quite inquisitive as well. Very curious sila mga aso. And because they're highly intelligent, they are easily trained. Hindi sila, they are not your ordinary dogs. And, in fact, they, they thrive in in a multi multi-canine environment. So, ibig sabihin, dapat maraming aso. They cannot be just they cannot be just alone by themselves. Kailangan may kasama sila ibang aso. Ito, ngayon mukha siyang docile kasi hindi siya sanay na nakaharap dito. But, if uh, you will see her in her element, nako, napakakulit na ito. They are also quite uh, agile. They can scale up ano, they can scale up barriers. So, yung yung breed na ito, they have three sizes, which we have miniature, intermediate, and the standard. What I have right now is uh, miniature. So, yeah, medyo ano siya. Hindi siya sanay. <laughs> so, their behavior, paka ano sila, pakalambing. They, they tend to be one-person dogs. Dati akong favorite niya. Lagi siyang kumakandong sa akin. Pero dahil nga busy ako lagi sa work, she bonded with my mother instead. So, tuwing umupo ang mother ko sa upuan niya, ano siya? She would sit at the back. And she would just stay there. Okay lang kung hindi siya nakaupo or kumakain ng mother ko. As long as, as long as nakaupo siya dun. Dun siya. So, so you can see mukha siyang, <laughs> mukha siyang house elf from Harry Potter. Health nila, these are one of, this is one of the healthiest dog breeds that you can have kasi they are not genetically manipulated ng mga tao so yung kanilang pagiging hairless this is a spontaneous genetic mutation so ano siya it's naturally occurring sa litter nila so usually uh, five five pups merong isa na tinatawag na powder puff or merong isang coated so that is the normal that is their normal ano, normal look na coated sila. But this, dahil nga kanila ay, dahil sila ay hairless, 
So they have this appearance. So medyo weird sa una. And parang minsan nakakatakot hawakan kasi parang ye. <laughs> but they are they are quite warm. Sarap silang yakapin. I remember when this was a puppy. Sarap siya kasama matulog. This is very warm, very cozy. Uh, merong ilang meron lang ilang defects that comes with being naturally hairless is yung dentition. So yung ngipin nila minsan hindi kumpleto. Sometimes they will also exhibit small tufts of hair. So okay lang yun. Kasama sa breed standard yan. Uh, the breed standard recognizes miniature and intermediate and sta- uh, standard sizes. So may maliit, may medium, dance, may malaki. So yun. Temperament naman nila, they are quite sensitive. In fact, very sensitive sila mga aso. So pag nagkaas ka ng boses, ano sila? Natatakot ka agad. That's because they're quite alert. Hindi naman sila matahol, but when they bark, it's something that you have to check out. So, temperament nila, they go well with other dogs. They get better with other dogs. Kasi nga lang, medyo may pagka-energetic ang ano, ang tuta neto. Naalala ko nung tuta pa siya, lagi niyang kinukulit yung pusa. Until lainis yung pusa sa kanya, pinag kakalmot siya. Pero, hopefully, madali naman, ano, mabilis naman gumaling yung sugat nila. And, may pagka ano to, may pagka bully tong aso namin to. May pagka bully siya dahil lagi niyang, lagi niyang sinasabunutan yung kasama niyang pudel. Diba? Yung texture ng balat niya, parang balat din ng tao. <laughs> so, para sa mga wala pang bebe dyan, at wala kent afford, ano, this might be a good choice for you. Yan. So, paupuin ko muna siya sa lap ko. Katuwa lang. So, aside from that, their temperament, they go well with other dogs. They have to be socialized at an early age para hindi sila, para hindi sila ano, para hindi sila maging problematic dogs. As with any dog. Plus, they are, they tend to be one person dogs. So, magkakaroon sila na favorite na tao. So, and, of course, they are very loyal. Smart, loyal. So, nakakatuwa sila alagaan. Pagdating naman sa maintenance, grooming, halos wala. Yun nga lang, mahirap hawakan dahil pag, dahil pag nasabunan, madulas, pag tumakbo, <laughs> hahabol ka. So, there's a reason why we fell in love with this dog. So, may story to. Yung girlfriend ko kasi, nag, nag, venture sa Cartimar nun. Tumitingin-tingin siya. And suddenly, nakita niya to. There were four of them in that litter. And tinawagan niya ako right away. He sabi niya, Beb, may nakita ko Mexican hairless. Gusto kong bilhin. Sabi ko, tumawag ka muna sa bahay. Tawagan mo muna si mama kasi kasi malamang sa malamang, hindi mo pa may uwi na palawan yan. Dito yan sa bahay may uwi. And fortunately, 10 minutes after, pumayag ang nanay ko kasi mahilig. Nakahiligan din niya to dahil may nakikita rin siyang ganitong klaseng aso. Sa Cubao, dati pag muwi bilis sila ng, ano, ng pagkain ng mga alaga namin. So, ayun, inuwi niya. Tapos ako yung naging unang favorite na itong alaga kong to, alaga namin. So, na yung una pa nga pangalan, Bonnie or Balbon. And napalitan na lang ng titay at tutay, dalawas na daling sabihin. There's another story why. <laughs> it, it is, ano, it is related to the texture. <laughs> so, medyo SPG. <laughs> so, yan, yung aming house elf. Plus, this dog is, ano, may, may kasama rin actually folklore. Itong asong to. In Mexico, they are they are believed to be guardians of the dead. So, kung napanood yun na yung Coco, yung isang aso dun si Dante, uh, nagtatransform siya pagdating sa underworld. Siya yung nagiging guide ng mga kaluluwa. And in fact, uh, they are believed, they are believed to have curative powers dahil sa kanilang, ano, dahil sa kanilang pagiging hairless. They are great with people with asthma, rheumatism, or arthritis. Kasi masarap sila itabi, mainit sila. So, nare-relieve yung joints. So, ito, 
yung aming Mexican hairless na hindi hindi namin pagpapalit. Katuwa to. This is actually great for people who have little patience with dogs kasi especially sa grooming. Hindi mo kailangan i-groom. Pag pinaliguan mo, yun na yun. And they are actually very trainable. Wala lang talaga akong oras na mag-train ngayon ng aso. But they are. They are trainable. They are quite the escape artists. Mataas din tumalon at be sure that you have high barriers kasi tatakas at tatakas sila. But they are uh, despite being escape artists, they are very docile. Hindi naman sila lang gugulo once they have already been in contact with their friends. So yeah, mukhang inaantok na yung aking alaga. So, side fr so I hope that you have learned something from ito. Request na isa sa mga coaches namin. So I'll be doing other episodes regarding dogs. Dadaling ko rin sila dito para mapakita. So yeah, I hope that you have learned something today and napik ang curiosity nyo. This is one meaningful content a day. So I hope that you've learned something. So if you are curious about coaching, you want to experience a magic life coaching or you want to be certified as a life coach, do connect with us at Life Coach Philippines at 0917-586-1661. That is again 0917-586-1661. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, clarifications, or violent reactions, do let me know para mapaulangan ko just like this episode. So, ayan. Having a pet is definitely helpful, especially if you are if you are having depressive episodes. Kasi meron kang nalalambig. Meron kang, ano, there's an extra purpose in your life to be happy. So, I hope that you are all staying cool, dry, safe, and healthy. Ayan, no? may tanong si Coach Nilo. Is that your favorite among the 18? May isa pa akong baby girl. Actually, marami akong baby girl dito. Well, favorite, I won't say na ano naman. They're all my favorites. Pero, pagdating sa paglalambing, meron din talaga akong ano. May gustong gusto kong ginigigil. Ito kasi hindi pwedeng gigilin masyado yun. So, naantok na yung aking alaga. So, I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. So, peace out.